to our very first Qigong exercise. All right, so everybody just stand. I'm already getting warm. <laughs> My energy is already through. All right, just stand with both feet, hip distance apart. And then with your left hand on your belly and right on top, we're just gonna do a standing meditation. Just close your eyes for a moment and just start breathing. Inhale. Big inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth with a sigh. So feel the belly. Let's have the breath come from the belly. Fill the belly with air. And let that energy rise up. Yes, and all the way when it rises up, it rises up to the front of the body, going up to the chest and give energy to the hand and then up to the crown of the head. Inhale. And then exhale and let the breath travel down to the back of your body and with a sigh. Good. Try that breath a few more times at your own pace. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, you can open your eyes now. So we're gonna add a little arm movement. Okay, so inhale, we just bring the arms up, bringing the energy up to the front of your body. That's about it. Good. And then exhale and turn the palm down and push it down. And exhale, down. Good. Again, inhale, gathering. Gathering and then the elbow goes slow. Chico is very slow. And do not bring up to your hand. It's just about its chest height. So bring the arm down for us. It's not here, it's here by the chest. And then bring it down. Go very slow. Again, inhale. Good. Bring the energy up and straighten your spine. Good. Two more. And down. And last one. Good. So this time, bring the arms forward. Then spread those palms downward. And bring it behind a little. Good, palms up. Turn, palm face forward and down and behind. Let it flow. The cheese, the energy in us is almost like water that's flowing in our body. So we go smooth and slow. Make sure your knees are soft. Don't lock your knees. Everything is soft. Breathe out. Good. And no momentum. Slow in, how bring the energy up. And then calm and bring the energy down. Two more. In. Turn and out. Beautiful. And last one. In. And out. Good, and we clear every exercise 
by taking it around and then push it down to clear. Excellent. All right, now let's do a little swinging. Let's just go side to side first. The, knee, the feet is on the floor. You can do soft knees and just turn first. Now let the arm swing freely and let it tap. One is behind probably and just let the arm swing. Tap the side of your hips. But don't, and turn. Don't look at me, look away. Look away freely so you can let your body just swing freely. Good, waking up the arms, waking up the hips, tapping a little bit, breathe, use your breath. Don't hold your breath. Good, then come back and now, maybe tapping the opposite shoulder. Tapping, it's actually good because it's waking up and giving energy. So gently tap on the shoulder. Same thing, just switch side to side. Good, let that arm swing. Beautiful. There's no need to control it. Let it all go. A few more. Good. Now tap the waist a little bit, which is the side of your body. So it's here, here. Good. A few more. Good. Last two. Breathe. Excellent. Good. So now take your hands. Collapse it together. Collapse it together. Good. Now we're going to do roll it. Just side to side like a snake. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. We're not doing shoulders yet. Flores, slow down. Flores, slow down. Slow down. <laughs> It's just here first, just the wrist for now. Think about this as a snake. The snake is trying to come out very slow first. So it goes around and down. This is a wrist rotation. Good, good. So you could do it close to the body for now. Now you can extend the arm straight. Good, retract and bring it back. And then out. The other direction. So it's the other direction first. And extend. And then bring it back. Extend. Bring it back. Last one, extend and bring it back. Now we can add the shoulder and the rib cage. So think about you diving in and full range of motion. Add your body, add the hip sway while rotating, or you can just keep it here and small. Beautiful, Miss Verna, thank you for showing up. Love to see you. <laughs> Try the other way. Same thing, engage your shoulder. Warm him up the shoulder, the rib cage, and the hip. Don't lock. Same thing. We're still doing side to side. A few more, and we are done. Good. Squeeze in again. Press it together. <coughs> Excuse me. Elbow on the side. Good. Then bring it in. Bring the energy into the heart. And then down first. And then out. That's it. No, 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 front, not high. No, 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 front, front. Good. Again, in. Down. And out. In. Down. And out. Two more. <clears throat> in. And out. Last one. In. And out. Good. Open. Clear it. And let it all go. Good. Let's go into the leg. Let's warm up the leg first, okay? So the leg, make sure you have room. All we have to do is stand first. And you kick. And you kick. And you kick. So it's alternate side to side. 
good. So it's like a kind of a knee jerk reaction, but don't swing too hard. Just kick out, kick out, kick out, kick out, go slow, kick, 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 kick. Then go into wide stance. Just shift your waist side to side first. Now go slow just a little bit. Good, now then heel. 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 Now, if you want, you can just go to side to side a little bit. It's not a deep squat, it's just a side to side. So the body is just swaying side to side for a little bit and extending and stretching. Good. Now stay here on one side, only the right. Only the heel and up and down, warming up. Good, now bring it in and out for a moment, rotating from the hip. Last two and stay. Go side to side again, go slow. Remember, <clears throat> we have to go slow, use your breath. Good. Last time and hold. Then your left heel up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Then go in and out. In and out. It helps to bend one. So you can pivot on the heel. And last two. Good. That's it. That's gorgeous. Okay. Now, let's take a breath in now, and breathe. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to go into the eight silk brocades of Qigong, which is eight different positions and eight different exercises to work different parts of the body. It's very slow, and each set of movement will repeat it five times, okay? So let's start with the first one. Okay, feet slightly hip distance apart. <clears throat> so, arms on the side. Inhale and bring the arm forward, like belly in front of you. Good, inhale. And then bring the arm up. I'm gonna squat so you can see me. Stay, stay where you are, stay where you are. I'm just showing to you, up and turn it up to the sky. So from this position, turn the palm up. Good, then spread open to the side. Good, and go slow, breathe. And meet back here. Good, then again, in. And then when you come, the palms start turning towards the sky, like you're supporting the sky with straight arm possible. Inhale, and then exhale. Good, go slow, control it, control it. And down. Good, three more. Inhale. Exhale, turn and up, supporting the sky. That's right. And then open, stretch, use your breath. Don't rush it. Good, two more like this. Inhale, fingers could touch. And then turn off, fingers can touch. It's a little bit more challenging, but you don't have to, but stretch. And then down. Good. Now to make it a little bit more challenging, clasp the hands together. Good, in front, inhale. Then turn down and face front. 
and then bring it up with interlock fingers. It's a little bit more challenging, but if you could do it, beautiful. Even straight a little bit more, armpit, beautiful. And then unlock the arms, control it, control it. Yes, and exhale. Again, in, turn, focus on your breathing, focus on the movement, good, beautiful. Now next round, really articulate the placement of the hands, collapse it in front of you, bring it down, face down first, then forward, extend and up, extend more, open, control straight arm with the palms facing out, pressing, and then curl it and you will feel it in your arms. Again, in, down, forward, up, open, last one, in, down, out, up, open, good, and we're going to finish it by clearing away and letting go of everything that doesn't suffer. Good, so feel your hands a little bit, you should feel your hands just a little bit tingling because the energy was rising from the feet through our body to the crown and sending uh, energies and blood circulation to your head. I mean, I'm feeling my fingers tingling right now. Okay. Second position is alternating. Again, sit distance apart. So let's just bring the hand forward together first. Good. Now, once this is first position, it's in front. In front. Like you're hugging a tree. Not here. Here. Open the elbow, burn it. There you go. Good. Fingers touch. No, middle fingers touch. Good. So once we're here, we are going to, with your right hand, right? With your right hand, you are going to push forward first. Turn. So with this position, you're turning one palm only. So they're opposite now, correct? That's why I said touch for that reason. Good. So with that, you press that hand. You press that hand up to the sky. So we're talking about supporting the roof. Okay. So from here, press up while the other press down. If it's possible to straighten it, straighten it. If it's not, it's okay. But this is opposite stretch. Breathe, inhale. Good, then exhale, brush to the side. Control. And we'll come back here. Good, now the other side. The other palm turn first. Then slightly come front and up while the other stretch down. So one hand is supporting the roof, one down is trying to reach for the roof. So we're stretching, beautiful. And then brush to the side. That's one set. Good, bring it back in. Good, turn the right, and then separate, 
Remember, raise the roof and press. And then out. Bring it back front. The other side, turn the palm first and forward. Then separate and open. Now, there's no leaning of the body. We're not doing side stretch. The body is straight out. We're just stretching the arm. Good. Then the other side, breathe. Just go slow, as slow as you could, and raise it back up. This is set number two. Two, now number three. We're doing five, remember? <clears throat> Press forward and then separate and press and then sigh. Yes, use that energy within you to help you through. Turn, go up and stretch, alternating. And then press. And come back center. Number four. Press. Up, separate, separate. And then push. Heaven and earth. Gorgeous. And brush side. And come back center. The other side. Turn the palm forward. Separate. Now heaven and earth. Stretch. And then sigh. Beautiful. Last one. Our fifth one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and we finish again, bring the chair in and clear away everything that doesn't serve you anymore and let it go. Excellent, we did two. Six more to go. <clears throat> the third one, it's all about your squat and your thighs. So the stance is called the horse stance, which is a wide stance. It must be that wide because you're riding a horse and also stability. <clears throat> Good, soft knees. Okay, so let's just bring the, the hands back here first. Okay, so from here, two things. We are going to pull the elbows open. That's number one. So your left elbow is pulling a bow while your right hand is extending with two fingers up and forward. So from here, think about you have a bow. You're going to pull a bow. So the elbows is pulled and you look towards the fingers. The two fingers, the two fingers are going up. It's a block. Yes. So this is what again, again, inhale, fist, and then two fingers open and extend. Good. Breathe. The other hand, Bernadette, one is here, one is here. Remember, think about you shooting an arrow the bow. Okay, here we go. Let's start again. Okay, remember now to add to it, we're going to do a little, just a little squat, just a little. So let's start with here. Inhale. When we pull, we're going to squat. Good. So it's a wide squat and breathe. Excellent. Then come back up, neutral, and meet. And then the other side, we pull, and we squat. It's very slow. 
and look towards the finger. This is your power. Good. Inhale. Center. Then pull apart and squat. And look at the two fingers. Beautiful. Come back center. Inhale. Exhale. Extend and squat. This is your power. Again. Number three. Go slow. Go down. Get the arrow ready and pull and shoot. Gorgeous. Come back the other side. And then turn the other side and pull and stretch and squat. We're doing three things at the same time. Coordination. Good job. Inhale. Keep going. Focus on where you're shooting. So your arrow is your focus. Shoot it. Good. Come back center. And then the other side. Shoot straight arm and pull that arrow and keep looking. Good. Gorgeous. Practice makes everything. Again, first thing. Squat, pull, and extend. Come back. And then the other side. Squat, extend, and pull. Two more. First thing, squat first. Work with me. First of all, your legs must be open. And you're not doing this. You are doing this. Feel the stretch here. That's number one. So here, this is called the horse dance, which makes you very strong, okay? Then the next thing, once you go down, you pull this elbow, keep the elbow, and then you shoot, and then low. Beautiful. Last one, last one. For good luck, here we go. Inhale. Exhale and pull. And we come back. Hands here. We toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Good. Now the fourth exercise. The fourth exercise, I, I believe, is the neck stretch. Let me refer to my notes real quick. <laughs> I just did my study. I don't want to give you the wrong one. Yes. The fourth one is a neck side to side. So again, hip distance apart. Okay, so from here, inhale. While you go forward the hand, inhale. You wanna stretch the neck to your right side. Good, and then bring the palm down. And you stretch and look to your left side. Good. Now we engage the, the knees just a little. So just a little bend forward. And then look. We come up and face the palm out and go the other side. So just a little squat. Again, inhale forward, palm up. And turn the neck. We come up and turn the palms out and go to the other side. We come forward and up and turn. And then straighten and look. 
again forward like stop and then you look and then you come up and open and you stretch the other side one more inhale and look and then the other side excellent good now let's try the other side Bend forward first and look to your left and straighten it and open and look to your right. Good, forward, bend a little and stretch while you look to your left, stop. And then palms open and look to your left. Two more like that, inhale and stretch and look and palms open and the other side last one inhale and look and then straighten palm the other side and we finish with the clearing inhale press Next one around again is another Y stance. We are going to swing out. It's called the dog wagging its tail. <laughs> so, Y stand. It must be wide. Slightly turn out and put your hands on the inner thigh. So we are in a squatting position. Good. Make sure the belly button is in. The tush is pushed back. So we start. A circle swing so inhale and we swing one side first just look at me first so we understand Flores don't move yet don't go to shoulder just go side to side first so look at my knees my legs one suspend one is straight just a little bit so just as a side motion good if this is good enough stay there now the whole motion is really going down and down so your focus is on the floor going side to side and you wagging your tailbone and maybe even your head but don't go too low you don't want your head lower than your heart it's no good that's right so you're wagging the tail side to side now you can engage your shoulder a little bit Go slow, slow, and come up a little bit, slow, and come up a little bit, slow, and come a little bit, slow. This is a deep squat and a hip opener. Two more, breathe, and and out and stay slowly slowly rise up good and then clear it <sighs> beautiful shake everything out and see how the body feels for a moment we're going into we only have one, two, three more to go. Yay! <laughs> okay, so this is a full front bend and a back bend. Okay, so first of all, we stand neutral apart. The hand, again, let's start with this. Inhale. Good, and then the hands is in the back, starting with the back at the kidney. So the whole idea is we are doing a back bend. Watch me first. Back bend and the hands trail from the buttocks to the back of the leg all the way down and fold. And then when we rise up, we trace it from the leg to the inner thighs, to the inner area that open from the hip. 
and then all the way up to the sky with a slight back bend. Okay? So this is tra this is tracing the hands all the way to the kidney, you know, meridian, and all the organs up. Think of the energy, okay? So we start with again the hands in the back. Okay. So from here, inhale first. We bend forward, soft knees, bend. Then the hands trail down to the buttocks, to the back of the thighs, to the back of the knee, to the calves, to the ankle, and to the feet. And touching the floor, drop the head. And then the hands in front of the leg, front, and slowly roll up to the front of the legs, including the inside. So use your hands to trace it all the way up even into the inner thigh, almost groin area, then open it to the side of the hip, and then trace into the side of the body, and then all the way stretch up for a moment, and slightly back bend, pelvis forward. Good. And then while we're doing that, the hand trace behind, behind the head to the shoulder, and coming back to the back. That's number one, the back. Then again, bend forward, bend the knees so that you can touch your buttocks, the back of the leg, all the way down to the back of the calves, the ankles, and just stay for a moment, breathe, inhale. And then slowly roll up, trace the front, breathe. Breathe. Side of the body, opening up to the sky, and then pelvis forward for back bend. Oh, and the hands trace behind your back, the neck, the shoulder, and then the side go back to the back. That's not breath number two. Breath number three again, bend. Legs going down, beautiful, come to the front and slowly roll up, and trace, and come, sigh up the body, and stretch the arm, this time if you want you can hold one wrist over the other if you want, and just back bend, pelvis forward, opening the arms like cactus arms, or behind, opening the shoulder. Good, and come back neutral, and go to the back again. Breath number four, breathe. Down, inhale. Good, and come up. Use your breath, don't hold your breath. Keep going, bring that energy all the way up. Maybe take the other wrist and stretch. Then bring it behind your head and let that energy go back into the body, down and behind. Breath number five. Inhale out, good. Bend and sit and trace. Don't forget to trace your hand to the back all the way down. And trace the hand all the way up. And then open, last one. One more time, pelvis forward, hands up. And then we trace the hand back. And we finish. Always with a cleansing breath. Beautiful. Two more to go. Good job. I'm all heated. I'm like all warmed up. All right. Again, Y stance. This is called the boxing. We're working on the extension of the arm so just quickly so each breath okay so we go 
we turn to one side and we extend and come back up and we extend coming back up and we extend front like box and box so quickly to this side so we do open on the on the bicep but we turn into a hammer okay so this is bicep and then it turns into a hammer same thing so this is bicep extension and extend into a hammer bicep extension it turns into a hammer got it that's the arm so this is again a squatting exercise again so we start here elbows together breathe inhale exhale and down come back together inhale exhale extend and box good then front inhale extend good inhale bicep and extend good one breath inhale the other side extend boom good but that is the attention even though we're doing slow it's like here boom but we're not doing boxing we're not so it, it's going to be slow and extend so we're doing qigong so inhale front and extend this is a boxing move okay inhale exhale and extend good breathe number three inhale and extend the other side inhale exhale front inhale exhale good inhale exhale good try to keep the elbows together if you could or at least the fist together good inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale slow extend inhale extend good job two more to go inhale exhale so extend from the arm beautiful the other side inhale exhale the other side inhale extend inhale extend good job last one make it good inhale the other side in front in the other side in and that's end the breath clear it beautiful we have one more so this one is all about toe and heel so we raise our toes and we raise our heels with the arm movement okay so so i just want you to see my leg for a little bit okay so hands slightly in front first slightly distance apart hands in front now when we push the hand back we want to go into the toe good and then slightly bend arms forward maybe one heel first and then the other if you can balance both good for you i can't even do it <laughs> good so again inhale soft knees and come forward like you're about to fly up so the hands is behind the hands is behind good then slightly sit back almost like a chair pose and then you lift the heel go very slow and open the legs for stability good again 
press, first of all, soft, soft knee, press the hand back like you're about to fly and jump up and you go into the toe. It could be bad knees, but if you can go straight, then go straight. But make sure you have the balance. The hands has to be behind for balance. The hands has to be behind. Good job. Then bend, sit, and toes up. Good. Again, inhale up like fly, like Superman, fly. And bring the arms back if you could. And then down. This is how I keep my balance. But try only moving the leg without moving the hip. Stabilize the hip. Good. Again, inhale up. And down. Raise. And then alternate just a little bit. Good. Two more. Inhale. Go as tall as you could. The arms as far back as you could. And then down. This is almost like a chair pose in yoga. So you are squatting. Good, two more. Fly. And then see if you can balance on, on the heel. Good, two more, inhale. Now keep it in motion. Good. So it's extend and squat. Extend. It's easy, actually faster than slow. <laughs> Good. Now let's go back into slow. <sighs> Almost done. And <laughs> see how I lost my balance now. Okay, good. Now slowly come up and finish. Oh, very good. One last thing. Let's go back into our quick breaths. So now you can feel, actually put your hands on your heart now. Feel the heart beating, feel the energy. We finish with another standing meditation and an attention. Reaping the benefits of this exercise. We tap into all the joints, the muscles, the meridians to bring the energy. Feel how your body <clears throat> right now. If you're doing it correctly, all your blood is supposed to circulate and you should have heat inside your body. Because I feel like I'm a, bur a furnace burning right now from inside out. Okay, now your fingers. Let's just open and close for a moment. Okay, if you want to take a chair, you can take a chair so we can do some stretches at the end, if you want. Or you can stay standing. <clears throat> okay, so take a seat now. I have to say good job, everyone. <clears throat> but wait, let's finish. So the fingers, let's just stretch <clears throat> the right palm forward and open those fingers, good. And then turn it forward up, open and close, open and close, open and close, hold the wrist and just rotate out, finger twirl and then inside, good. And then bring the arm forward to your body and stretch the forearm. Don't go up, go down and just let it hang, stretch the shoulder and the arm. And keep looking towards the hand extended, breathe. Then bring the arm forward. Now untouch your own shoulder. Bring it up with triceps, stretch, which is here. If you have the extension, then do this extension. Beautiful, good job. Let go of your right hand down. This hand stays here and hold on to the head gently and just stretch the neck. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then just kind of skip it just a little round up and let it go. Then roll that shoulder back. 
a few times. Good, and then the other arm in, stretching the other shoulder, hold on to the shoulder, holding to the arm, just stretching it, and keep looking to your right, and look at the arm, breathe. Extend the arm forward, touch your own shoulder, and then bring it up for tricep stretch. Open the chest, open the armpit, and breathe. Let go of your left arm and then the other on the E and just stretching the neck. Breathe. Then roll a little bit. And then let it go. This time, front roll, show. Front roll. And breathe. Four. Good. So turn and twist just a little to your right. You can hold that hand outside your thigh or using a chair. Breathe. And then switch sides. And come forward. And we finish and pressing the cheek. You did it!